Hi, I'm Penny Gomez and welcome to Pop Penny on Point with profiles on persons of interest. This is a show where we get to know some of your favorite personalities a lot better and we don't leave you out of the action. You get to go online, Penny on Point 868, we leave clues for you and you just take a guess, tell us who you think might be popping by for a visit and the best part is for cool prizes. So we're here to love you home in Palmies, waiting to see who's popped by. I hear a doorbell, let's go. Hey, it's Michaela Pandey. Hey. Hey, girl. Hello. And welcome to Pop. Thank you for having me. And we made this trip to Palmies just for you. Great. I'm excited. <laughs> and if you guess correctly, well, guess what? There is a prize with your name on it just waiting to be collected. Are you ready to do this? Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. Political leader of the Patriotic Front and former MP and attorney of law, Michaela Pandey is joining us on POP today and I'm so excited about this interview. Welcome once again. Thank you for inviting me. I'm <laughs> happy to be here. But I'm really excited yes, to good. do something different. You sure? It is different. Yeah, I'm ready you. for it. <laughs> now you're a powerhouse and we know the legacy that comes along with Michaela Pandey, the name. But let's focus, you know, a bit about uh, on you first. As a woman... Um, you know, in a field that obviously as a political leader of a party, um, yes, we do have another, um, you know, female um, leadership in terms of politics, but you sort of veered off to do your own thing, to actually form the party from, you know, the get-go. Yes. That I, makes I, some I, balls. <laughs> it does. It does. It does. And um, it wasn't a decision, as, as most women do. We don't decide things just off the bat. You take your time, you analyze what... What's the best thing, the best direction, understand the sacrifice, most of all, yeah. that it's going to entail. I thought it was the best thing to do. And I, I sort of live by that motto, you know, you, if you believe that you can do something, at least try. Um, so, yeah, I, I decided to go off and do it. And I always wonder <laughs> because they are, um, you know, um, Mr. Pandy has four girl children at that too. And you're the one that decided to follow in the footsteps. Yes. And what, you know, at what point... Did you decide, I'm going to just throw my hat in the ring and just decide to serve? Well, strangely enough, um, yes, I do. I have three sisters and none like politics at all. <laughs> and um, or, or the, the uh, publicity or anything like that. They do completely different things in their lives. And, but I'd always liked it. And of course, uh, with my father being in politics before I was born, I was sort of always exposed to it. Um, yeah, and I always, always liked it. I was, a, I was an MP. I had a, a shot of that, and continue really to work. How, how uh, to raise social consciousness and 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 those kinds of things. I've always been involved in, and I felt that the time had come in the country to 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 sort of not shake things up, but kind of bring a breath of fresh air into politics and the kind of stale plateau that we'd found ourselves at, and just to bring something new and. There were other people there yeah. um, and younger people who felt, yeah, let's, let's, let's do this. Yes. Uh, and we did. Now, we're not going to go too much into the politics on sure. um, today's show, but I do want to ask you this, you know, this is the one question I have to ask. Sure. What do you think makes your party different from the existing parties? I think the Patriotic Front uh, listens to people and our aim really is to bridge the divide between politicians and the people. So uh, we, how else can you govern unless you know what's happening on the ground? And I think that's one thing you have to start at, uh, listening to people. So whilst you may not have heard so much uh, publicly about us, that's what we've been doing, going on the ground and finding out what's happening in the country, how people feel. And throughout the length and breadth, uh, I think that's so important because one of the things that we've realized is uh, that the, so many people throughout Trinidad literally don't have the basic necessities of life. Mm. And you want to talk to younger people, so you're not getting a job. Uh, why are you not getting a job? Are, are we studying the wrong thing? And I think before you do anything, when you, you, you have policy, you have to be able to let people know that they can speak to you um, and that you can represent them 
and not really sort of sit in a, in a bubble or in a little room uh, deciding what's best for everybody else. Yes. What was the experience like? Because I know that you decided, um, you know, that you weren't going to compete after all. Yeah. You know, um, this, this last um, general election. You did some commentary, I know, during yeah. the election. But what was it like just, you know, sitting back and saying, I could have been out there, they could have been you know, voting for, for members of my party no, I, and myself. I have no regrets about anything. And I don't make decisions um, lightheartedly or on slipshot. I think it through. And I realized it wasn't about me. Um, it was about the party and the right thing to do at the time also for the country. So... In a way, I felt, oh, I'm glad that's not me. <laughs> I'm glad that's not me. But, but it's, it's lovely to be able to sit back um, and, and comment and continue to learn from what's going on in Trinidad and, and also some of the mistakes that are being made. Yes, yes. But how do you keep yourself relevant then? Because it's another few years yeah. to go. It's, it's, it's a very, very difficult thing, uh, especially if you are not in the parliament. Mm -hmm. uh, you struggle because, you know, with media and, and having your voice heard. But we're very lucky because of social media yes. to be able to use social media and kind of bring your own narrative uh, to the table. Um, so I'm very lucky about that. And we are starting a podcast. Uh, so I'm very excited mm -hmm. about that uh, frontline talk to just be able to... In, in a way, you kind of reach more people than just mainstream it's media. True. It's true. Um, or if you physically go out to have a meeting, you have a, a limited amount of people that's there. So, you know, using social media in a positive way, especially at this time, I think will, will benefit quite a lot. Okay. All right. Once we're doing the right thing and people are interested. You are certainly doing the right thing. I've been keeping tabs Thank on you, you on social media. I have. Uh, Thank okay, you so much. So, you, you know, you're a figure, a public figure, and yeah. people look to you. Yes. friends as well too and I say that to all the guests really so, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> so we like to play a little game yeah um called pop or flop and I know that you like very tailored you know wear yes so we have designed what we've called um a power suit segment and we want to get your your advice on whether it's a pop or flop are you ready for that yeah okay yeah. well yeah. let's go let's do this let's take it away with our pop or flop what do you think about this I love the actress, but that to me is a flop. Really? I, I don't know. The sleeves are happening, but okay. Let's go next one. The Kardashian. Mm. This is the oldest one. Yes. Yes? Pop. I like it. Yeah. I could see you in it, actually. I like yeah. it. I like it. Oh, about well, this one? Yes. You know who this yes. is, right? Yes. Love okay. Victoria Beckham. 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 Yes. Really okay. good. All right. Yep. Doing yeah. well. Yeah. Yes. Yes. We have nailed it. You know who this is, Lady Gaga? Of course. Yeah. Not good material, but um, <laughs> not not for me. Not for you. It needs to fit. This it needs this to fit. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that can work. Yeah, I, I Tyler, like that can work. Yeah. Angelina Jolie. Yeah. A little sort of carefree. You yeah, know. yeah. It gives a kind of. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay. Pop, 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 pop. What about this? Pop. This is cool. I yeah. love that. What about this one? I like that actress as well, Pop. You like the <laughs> <laughs> All right. Miss Diana, Miss Ross. Oh, she's lovely, but I'm not the sleeve, the, the cuffs. Yeah, a bit much for you. A bit much for me. Okay. All right. Let's move. What about this? It needs to the iron. Uh, I, iron? <laughs> Look really? at how crimply the... the, the you yes. are a tough cooking boy. I mean, I didn't even... Flop. So, no, 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 flop. Okay. Yeah. Yeah? Like that. Yeah. And the colors pop. You did really well. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, now we've seen that. Right. And um, that's in your work life. Let's talk a bit about, you know, to mean, you know, some of the personal life and dating. Dating with a father like, you know, Mr. Pandey. What was that like? That was, that was fine. You know, I think my mom's tougher. Are you serious? Yes. Yes, mom, mom, mom is tougher. That is cool. He is one of the most easygoing people I had. Uh, so no stories about people turning on the light outside in the in the, in the porch. That'd be my mother. That would oh, be my mother. Sorry. That would be my mother. That would be my mother. Sorry, mom. <laughs> um, but dad is 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 super cool. Oh. And four daughters. And four daughters. Hey, so that's an award for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, all, but all right. Easy going. No, you're not. You're not married. And um, so we do want to know if you were looking for that, you know, significant other to, you know, be through it. Um, you know, what would you be looking for? 
so I am engaged, but I watch it. <laughs> <laughs> no one actually knows. Um, I was thinking. Oh, did you say no one knows that this is like a scoop on pop? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Congratulations. I kind of keep my private life private because yes. what tends to happen, especially with female yes. uh, politicians mm -hmm. as well, they zone in on yes. your personal life more than what you what you should be saying. Uh, loyalty. Loyalty. Is yes. important. Really, really, really important. Yes. Um, I'm not a I'm not a fussy person with heights and 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 you know people say tall dark handsome or not. Yes. I just think someone that that could be a partner and uh, support you, not bring you down. Uh, mm -hmm. You know because especially in politics as well. Yes. You have to have someone who's not they're probably trying to compete. Yeah. Uh, with you as well, who knows themselves, mm -hmm. comfortable in their own shoes, mm -hmm. um, and. Willing to put up with some of the nonsense, and, and which is which is acceptable, you know, yes. um, that comes along with going out with somebody in politics. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to press you for his name or anything like that. <laughs> I tried to remember what? it a second ago. <laughs> <laughs> what was his name again? Or, you know, to ask when's the wedding. But, you know, so we'll be looking for the big announcements and the wedding. But congratulations. Thank you. It's, yes. been, it's been a number of years. I think... I'm not someone for a big wedding and or anything like that. Though yes. it wouldn't, it wouldn't be anything. Regardless of COVID, it, I like. You took quiet. the words out of my mouth. I'm thinking that COVID gave you the perfect excuse. Exactly. For that. No, no, do it, do it, do it. So yeah. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Again. Thank you. Now, in addition to um, pop or flop, we try to keep our eyes on trends, international trends. Right. So we also have a segment, what's popping, where our fans go online and they, you know, we see what's happening out there, Good. and we let them vote on it. So right now, we're going to find out what's popping and if it gets a pop stamp of approval. Popping! You ain't starting at all. I hungry, you know? I ready to eat. I ready to bite. You need to stop making dry pillow. It'll taste good. Every time you leave your pillow to dry it on a bit extra, think about the pain you're causing people who are going to have to eat it. You need to stop it, please. Please. Hello? Hello? Grandma? Uh, Grandma, I'm hearing you fine. Move the phone back. Daniel? She not seeing no da Daniel? Yeah. You hearing me? Grandma, I'm seeing you and hearing. Grandma, this is a video call. Move the phone back. I tell this trend, don't get me no phone for Christmas. You know, hello, hello. I never, oh God, oh God. Grandma, you need to just move the phone away from your face. This is a video call. I can see you. Put, move the phone back. Move it back? All right, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, I see in you. Yes, just keep it back like that, right? How's your day? But what going on? Why your lip looking dry like that? And you're looking very maga. You know, Agent? You know, is it looking wide? You, you had to pull it, pull it, Daniel, pull it. All right, I have to go. The house burning down. And well, that certainly got a pop stamp of approval. Who would have thought? <laughs> yes. Wonderful. Okay, now, Michaela, we warned you. You came on the show. I think you've seen some episodes. It's built on surprises and right. challenges. So, um, surprise number one is coming your way. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> right after the I'm break, excited. though. Right after right the break. After the Stay break. tuned, guys. Great. Thank you. You don't want to miss this. Stay tuned for more on pop after the break. Thank you.
Sport brand cleaning products, tough on grind, yet gentle on you. In the kitchen, use only support dishwashing liquid. Washing your clothes, use only support liquid laundry detergent. Sanitizing your home, work, or any environment, then support antibacterial multi-purpose cleaner is the brand for you. Ask for support detergent products today because we're a family. It's locally made with a great price and everyone needs a little support. All right, and we are back on pop, and I promised Michaela a surprise before um, we went to break. Michaela, ready? Ready. Okay, let's go. Here comes your surprise. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. Oh. Making this grand entrance. Sir, please join us. Welcome, <laughs> nice. Mr. Pandy. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> This is such an honor for me to have you, um, you know, on pop. Thank you so much for joining us, Gosh. you know, and, um, <clears throat> and we got her. And you know what she said? She knows everything that's going on. So I think we <laughs> totally knocked this one out of the ballpark. I don't know how I miss this. Hmm. <laughs> I need to start thinking about things you, a bit more. <laughs> you know, and now that I'm seeing you all sitting side by side, I see the resemblance. It's very uncanny. Really? Yeah, it's, it's really is very, very vivid. You mean, I, you mean I'm that ugly? Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> I wouldn't cry. You're a very charming and handsome man. Thank you, dear. Yes. And um, so we wanted to surprise Michaela because we felt that um, Michaela, um, you know, the name alone, we couldn't have her and not have you on because, you know, out of you. Michaela. So I'm going to ask you not too many questions that are politically, um, you know, that, that interest there at all because it's not a kind of show. You know, because we all know. But there's still some things that we need to find out. First, for those people, the younger generation, who don't know about that, um, that name, the, the, the Silver Fox, where it came from. Can you please explain? And did you know about that? Did you, of course you knew about yes. it. Yes. Well, first of all, I, I was involved in politics since 1966. Yes. So that's a rather long time. And um, I started off by becoming involved with the trade unions, yes. where we were always fighting and struggling to improve uh, the working conditions of uh, people who were employed. And um, it got me gray. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I imagine the silver part of that yes. expression comes from the fact that I have gray hair. Oh. And the fact that I was always in the trenches with workers, striking with them, marching with them, and so on. Uh, they must have thought I, I was a fox in a hole somewhere. A wily fox. <laughs> in a trench somewhere. So that um, maybe, maybe that's how the name arose. Quite frankly, I don't know. I'm only guessing. Oh, because I've heard <laughs> stories where it's because of, you know, because you're so witty. I you know, think that's it. I so I've heard it. that, that being it. And then somewhere in there, there was this um, karate star that was a silver fox type thing. So I so I said, maybe it was sort of a mixture, but nothing to do with that. You're probably right. <laughs> I'm exactly. probably wrong. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I mean, you've obviously embraced the name. Well, I had no choice. <laughs> you had no choice. <laughs> I right. tell you, what was it like? Because a father of four girls and being in politics and, and obviously having to raise these young ladies. Okay, and, I I'll tell you one story about that. Somebody asked me, um, Mas, uh, don't you regret having a son? And I say with a daughter like Michaela, who needs a son? Oh, that, oh, I think that that's a compliment. I think, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> that is a compliment. Oh, Do you see her? But, sure. But um, otherwise, uh, I love children mm. and I think girl children are the most Beautiful thing on earth. Uh, yes, yes. And, and before you came and she mentioned to us, we asked about dating and so on. And, and were you a terror as a father, you know, with, with the boys coming to visit and so on? She said it actually wasn't you. It was, it was you know, Mrs. Pandy. <laughs> Correct. Well, having regard to the wickedness in which I myself was involved, oh. I tried to protect my daughters <laughs> from it. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us now, <laughs> we are going to leave that. Leave that one there. We're leaving it. We're leaving it. We're not even touching it. 
tell us now what you're doing. I know you're into some gardening, um, you know, and what is family time like? Are you meeting up? Are you, are you, you know, getting the produce from that garden and, and cooking it and so on? Well, first of all, um, because of the tremendous um, sunlight and heat that was uh, occurring in the country over the past what, few months. Yes. Um, it was impossible to grow anything. Uh, because, of course, if they caught me watering the plants with a <laughs> hose, I'd probably not be here today. Uh, <laughs> well, we know you would have had a good lawyer to defend you if it came to that. So that I only just begun again, uh, okay. planting things mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. um, I spent some time in the garden. I am working on an autobiography. Oh. And I spent a lot of time doing that. Um, I also like reading, but I'm also bionic, you know, I have a hearing aid, I have glasses, oh. and I have a, a, a heart that doesn't belong to me, uh, <laughs> all sorts of things, you know. But you so, look, you're looking good. Uh, thank you. Yes. So that what I do, I read a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, reading is good. That's one of my favorite pastimes. So that's yeah. what I'm engaged in, actually. Yes. Tell us what's your favorite memory, you know, of your dad, even, you know, over the years, something that really stands out for you in experience. Wow, there are so many. There are so many. Uh, what really, really stands out? As a dad, because I tend to separate my father from being a leader or a politician mm -hmm. because it's a... Dad likes to dance. Really? <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, would you? Dad likes to dance a lot. So I'm normally in extreme stitches at any time. So he comes down, my birthday was on January 8th and always the, the, the life of the party, dancing. As in still dancing now? Yes, that was we like a week ago. Wait a minute. Moves. A week ago. not ballroom dancing and all that kind of thing, you know, it's, I'm crazy dancing. I'm, <laughs> she's talking about. So Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> the Marshall Montana and that sort of thing. <laughs> so okay. it's, that, those kinds of things mm -hmm. are always stand up because the, at home and it's always been growing up. Uh, very light, easygoing, fun. Um, so it's not that you're all talking politics all the time at home, right? We do, you do. talk politics a lot, but we get the eye from my mom. Oh, okay. That kind of, so we do, uh, or we get something like this. Not everybody always wants to talk politics. Uh, but the strange thing is we both love it and everything is politics, so it always leads there in some kind there. of way. But of course, so we have great fun. And after 40, 40 something years in politics, at my age, I see everything in political terms. Yes, I understand. Yeah. I can't help it. Were you ever um, wary of your children and them being in the spotlight because you were in, in politics and the effect it might have on them? Oh God, it had an enormously deleterious effect upon them. Mm. For example, um, I was falsely accused of sexual offences, as you know, mm -hmm. which the magistrates and the, mm -hmm. um, these uh, girls were lying. But because of the charge itself, uh, Michaela, for example, suffered tremendous humiliation when she attended Naparima College in order to do her advanced level. Yes. The children, other children, I remember one of my daughters, the one uh, just after Michaela, being so frustrated that one day she told me she felt like a three-foot bird in a two-foot cage. Oh. Uh, and that's the kind, yes. they, they, they suffered because of it. Yes, yes. I wouldn't say suffered. Well, uh, you enjoyed it, did you? I wouldn't say suffered. <laughs> yeah, I think why, as you get... why he's calling himself a fox yeah. with that kind of comfort. But, but as, as, as you get older, you start to understand a bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But definitely when we were younger, mom played a huge role in sheltering mm -hmm. us from that. So we went to school. Mm -hmm. um, and live normal lives. Mm -hmm. um, but you start to understand that it's part and parcel and this is what dad does. And uh, once it's explained to you as a child, probably he thinks that it bothers us more than it did. But right. we, we were all right. And um, I want to just, you know, one thing, Claire, first, the acting. Because when I was doing my research, I realized that, you know, we forget that you actually, you know, you were an actor. I went to drama school. Mm -hmm. while I was studying law. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And I went to drama school not to become an actor. Okay. I went to drama school to become a great lawyer. Okay. Who had the capacity of a yeah. of And you might oratory. be giving the profession a bad name here. Are you sure you want to say that? No, no. no. Um, in those days when practice was before the jury, um, you had to be uh, an orator, yes. a great orator. Yes. Um, in fact, there was one great lawyer who said that we lawyers are like actors. The only difference is we have to write our own script. Mm, but, the, but the court is a stage. The court is a stage. That is not, I didn't say that. I'm saying this is what <laughs> um, a great lawyer had said. So that, so that I um, actually went, began going drama school in the evening and my school sent my photograph to several agents. I began get, getting parts on a BBC, British television, eventually got a part in three films. Yes, I, I realized that. Uh, yeah. Well, one was called Nine Hours to Rama, mm -hmm. which was a story uh, of conflict in Afghanistan mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. northwest frontier there. Um, and another was uh, with Robert Mitchum. I got a part in a play called The Bird of Time mm -hmm. at the Savoy Theatre in London, mm -hmm. which ran for a whole year, oh. during which time I completed my bar exams. Okay. Speaking <laughs> about acting, um, you know, we're going to go into a little game that we call Do Say That. This is a brilliant game by, um, you know, by one of our very own, so I love it. We thought of doing the game ourselves, and we said, why reinvent the wheel if some wonderful Trinidadian has already done it for us? Yeah. So we're going to play um, this game with you. Now, I'm going to give you some clues and I'm going to ask either one of you. Um, this has to do with folklore, a herbal bath intended to bring about a change of luck. What is it called? Is it a bush bath? It is a bush bath. Well done. Okay. I'm uh, going to lose this. Are you going to lose? <laughs> no, I you can't ahead. lose. Okay. Very angry and rage. How you mean you paid it out like the light bill? Come on now, don't get me blasted vexes out of the morning, eh? Sounds like my wife. <laughs> 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 it just means if you if you carry on like that, it's because you're what? You're, you're vexed. You're vexed. Yeah, you're yeah, vexed. Oh, okay. I thought it was something hard. She's, she's better. She's okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm I'm something hard. Hard. Okay, good. Okay. okay. The free daily lunches and breakfast provided by the government to primary and secondary school uh, school students. What was that? School what was feeding. it called? No. Oh. What was it called? The, the school feeding program yes. provided by the state. Right. So what was the name of it? The free daily lunches and breakfast provided by the government to, pro to primary and secondary school students. I thought it was the school feeding program. No, but you're right, but we don't call it that. No, what it, is the word? We call it something. The, something we call it the... Trinidad. Yeah, it's Trini. It's, we call it... I lose that one. <laughs> You didn't win any so far, I want to mention. <laughs> oh, incident. Call one. it a... <laughs> Box lunch. Yes. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, you had to drag that out to me. <laughs> Woo. Okay. All right. This one here. This should be easy. All right. Um, a three-stage ordeal endured after the end of a romantic relationship. Each stage occurring in order of severity. Kabanka. Yes. What? Oh, can you, <laughs> Mr. Pandey, I'm disappointed that you don't know any of these things. boy. But Tabanka. you know what? It's because him and Uma have just not had this. They've just been in love forever. And he's forgotten what, you know, that even could look like. You know, that means since she has had it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to this one. A popular nickname for a certain person in Trinidad and Tobago who happened to have been a former prime minister... Um, you know, and founder of a former political uh, leader of a particular organization. I haven't got the feeling. I you, know. Dad. Who I that? Should I know that? He knows oh, that. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Give it that one point at least. Yeah, so, but you have to say the name. I want him to say it so he gets a point. <laughs> She's so your daughter. <laughs> okay, fine. Generous. Still a fox. Yes, okay. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about himself, I understand. <laughs> okay, let's go with this one. Okay, Tillin Woodbrook. This particular, you know, space was originally built as a, a stadium for, um, as a stadium in honor of one of our Olympic medalists. Hazel Crawford. Hazel Crawford. 
And I, in my government, named it that. You did, you did. And, and you know what? I feel slow, as if we should end it on that. Slow on the mark. We're going to end it on that. Mark. We're going to end it on that. You and your government named it. And well done. So you see, I won only... You won no, I won. I didn't win. I won one. half. <laughs> uh, and <laughs> I won half, yeah? okay? <laughs> you won half, but you're a good sport. But you know what? There's a lot more going to be happening on POP where we will need you to be a good sport. So tell, we're going to see. Tell me something. Yes. Uh, to whom do you show this? Program. Oh, to, to everyone. I thought with children. Why are you interviewing her? I thought with children alone, no? No, I, no not just children, no. Okay. Um, and how can I view it? Okay. You we'll tell view, you. Yes, we'll tell <laughs> That's you. That's a good thing. On television <laughs> or on your laptop or anywhere, tablet, phone, anywhere. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. You're so welcome. So, um, again, we're going to need you to be a good sport because there's a lot happening, a lot happening on pop, still coming your way and still coming your way. Stay tuned, we'll, we'll be right back. Cleaning products, tough on grind, yet gentle on you. In the kitchen, use only support dishwashing liquid. Washing your clothes, use only support liquid laundry detergent. Sanitizing your home, work, or any environment, then support antibacterial multi purpose cleaner is the brand for you. Ask for support detergent products today because we're a family. It's locally made with a great price, and everyone needs a little support. Are back on pop. I've just sanitized compliments of our friends at support. And of course, we've wiped down the area as well, too. Just ready for you for this kitchen challenge. Now, I have to say, right, this gentleman besides me, you know, has been a former prime minister, political leader, trade unionist, actor, attorney at law, and everything else, and does not know, however, guess what? How to cook any kind of meal. And for those of you who are watching, actually, I think from what I understand from Michaela, this is the longest he's been in, a, in the kitchen. Correct. In any kitchen. Correct. And you know what, Mr. <laughs> Pandey, I'm going to out you because from what we understand from Mrs. Pandey, um, the closest he gets to the kitchen is to pour the hot water into his coffee mug. Mind you, the coffee greens are already in there. He just has to pour the hot water. And that's the action. Even a spoon is in there for you. What do you have to say against those charges, sir? Guilty. <laughs> <laughs> You are very much guilty. But you know what? We understand you've been growing vegetables. I know that um, the rain might have affected you a little bit, but they're vegetables all the same. So we are giving you a challenge along with lovely Michaela to see what you can produce. You know, so consider this your kitchen debut at um, 87 years old, you know, to do a stir fry veg for us. So everything's laid out here before you. And you're talking, you're talking to me, I. I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I am. I thought you were talking to me. Oh, well, you know what? You can be the sous chef. So Michaela is going to take When I tell you to pass it to me, pass it to me. Pass it to you. All right. So everything's there. The stove is behind you. Your ingredients are there. Everything here. And um, take it away. Okay. And I can't wait to see because... You know, don't, you told us that she's a good cook, so we're going to right. find out. Listen, I'm the kitchen aide. You, <laughs> so, yeah, don't you just do anything. tell me what to hand you, you know? Right. right. Okay. So I'm going to turn it over to you all now. So don't do anything yet, okay? I'll real oil? Re yes. Of course. I don't want to give anybody heart problems, so I won't use too much. Should I do it like a cooking show? And now we put the oil in. Thank you. You want to make sure it's hot first, or 
Okay. So we're just letting this cook for a bit. So what I'm doing is, this is pimento and this is the onions, right? Right now it's hard, so we put that in first. And that, now we wait for it to sort of cook in a little bit. It'll start to get a bit translucent. And smaller. You want to give it a turn? Come on. Turn it, turn it. Which way? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Any way you oh. want, just put it on the ground. Never did this before in your life, my dad. Oh my God. <laughs> well done. So how is it smelling? Good. So you will be the taster after, right? Next thing you know. Wait, hold on. Next yes. thing you know, your mother wants me to cook her. Exactly. Well, then she'll realize that you can cook. You see, that's been cooked up quite a bit now. So it's now a little bit softer. Right, carrots. Have you seen such efficiency? Right, so now we're going to start to throw in. We need some seasonings, otherwise it'll have no taste. Okay, it's still a little bit hard, but... Because what are the other vegetables that we've got now? Okay, let's try that. Why is this? She's getting angry with me. <laughs> what are you going to call this when it's over? What will we call it? Uh -huh. What we're eating? Yeah, you're gonna stir fry, it. stir fry. Stir fry. Yeah. Like you get in the Chinese restaurant. So I'm gonna make you the test in a second. Right. All right. Then we have another one. Cabbage, please. This is like cabbage. Wow, very with all the water, thank you. All right, so now we're gonna have to add more seasonings. You might have to add salt, but I'll make you taste it. <laughs> Why you look so scared? <laughs> so are you willing to do this when we go home? Certainly not. Why? Uh, let's have some of the broccoli. Great. Great. How are we going? You start looking like a Chinese restaurant. Exactly. If, any, if all else fails, I could do a cooking show. What do you think? Yep. You have to taste it first. Sure. There we go. I think we're looking good. How is it looking, Dad? Looking good. I don't know how it's going to taste, but it's looking good. <laughs> okay. Coming along. Hold on, hold on. I am smelling something very nicely here. Are you ready for plating? Right, it's finished. Yeah, that's what she said. The cook says it's finished. That's for me? Hold on. It's just a, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that's a try. Uh, <laughs> and he passes it over to me. Hold on. You have everything? Oh, Every I have everything, yes. Lovely. Thank you. Great. Are Thank you ready? You. I, I thought it was you first. Let's get your plate over here. Me and you? Okay, we'll do it together. Okay. Okay, it must be really hot though, so let's just... I'm going to go with the broccoli and the carrots. Um... Okay, that's that's ready. <laughs> that is how raw carrots supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's not supposed to be soft and soggy. Try it, try it. Does it not have I any flavor? I have flavor? to say that I quite liked it. Right, thank, thank you very you. much. You did well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You could do a holiday job in a uh, Chinese kitchen. Yeah, mm -hmm. I could. I mm -hmm. could. Very nice. Very Aww, nice. Yes. Yay! Well done. <laughs> can I go home now? You can't go home yet. 
<laughs> but this is your first cooking lesson ever in life on pop. There you go. How this is your feel? first cooking lesson ever in your life. Right. Okay. First cooking lesson ever. Thank you so very much. Thank and you. Got, and you, you sweated over the, the That's, pot. Yes, no problem at all. Literally. Thank you. But you know, some other people who are sweating and doing some really good work, the youth business of Trinidad and Tobago. So we're going to take a look now and see what they're doing to change Great. lives. Hi, I'm Shadron Collins, the general manager for youth business Trinidad and Tobago, YBTT. We're part of an international network of not-for-profit organizations focused on empowering young persons to build and sustain profitable businesses. We do that by transitioning their mindsets from being job seekers to now becoming job creators. Recognizing the need for young persons to unlock their potential and become entrepreneurs, we have four core programs that we focus on. Every November, we're the local host for Global Entrepreneurship Week, which really we catalyze all the different um, entrepreneur support organizations and really celebrate what entrepreneurs do by hosting different activities, celebration, competitions, offering tools and resources to really empower young persons. We are the local implementation partner for the Shell Livewire program that are focused on growth stage entrepreneurs, so persons who are already in businesses um, and looking to get started to either increase revenue, increase their increase job creation, or even exporting at a different level. Our core flagship program is the Jumpstart, Jumpstart Incubator, and that is really focused on that startup entrepreneur persons with that idea stage or persons with probably one or two, two years within business, focus on the business model canvas, as well as equipping them with partnering them with, with mentors, volunteer mentors who help guide that entrepreneur into starting their business. We are launching in 2020 our School Spark program that is focused on secondary school students and getting them involved in business. So if you really want to be part of the change and a catalyst for change in Trinidad and Tobago around entrepreneurship, feel free to contact us as entrepreneur at ybtt.org or look for us on social media. We're still in the kitchen. Michaela is still sweating. Mr. Pandy yes. is contemplating his first cooking lesson and wondering if he should be replicating it at home. I'm sure Mrs. Pandy will have something to say about that. She would. I expect that the next meal might be compliments of, you know, your hand. I will have to hear about it. What do you think about that? You'll either hear about it from me or from the hospital. Oh, my word. Of those, <laughs> of those, who, of those who have eaten it. <laughs> Thank you very much for being such fantastic sports, guys. Thank Still you. more to come and pop. Don't go anywhere. Cleaning products, tough on grind, yet gentle on you. In the kitchen, use only support dishwashing liquid. Washing your clothes, use only support liquid laundry detergent. Sanitizing your home, work, or any environment, then support antibacterial multi purpose cleaner is the brand for you. Ask for support detergent products today because we're a family. It's locally made with a great price, and everyone needs a little support. We're back on pop and hanging with Michaela Pandy and Bastio Pandy. Baz, did all your friends call you Baz? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I was, oh. going, I was going to say something, but I thought it wouldn't sound good on camera. Oh, <laughs> it follows Baz. Fo oh, mm, okay, we're going to leave that there. You see how many things we had to leave there. Correct. Okay, what well, we're not leaving there, though, I want to get your um, perspective on, you know, either or. Ready for the questions? Yep. We call it rapid fire. Noonie juice or Karali juice? Noonie juice. 
Karate juice or noni juice? Orange juice. Or <laughs> Orange juice. <laughs> I knew you were going to say something like that. I just knew it. Ice cream cone or snow cone? Snow cone. Snow cone. Snow cone. Mm, okay. Coconut fudge or chocolate fudge? Chocolate fudge. Coconut. Coconut fudge. Moby drink or grapefruit? Grapefruit. Moby. Okay. I changed my mind, Moby. Well, why are you changing your <laughs> mind? <laughs> okay, pale hour doubles. Doubles. Um, doubles before pillow. Uh, Mr. Paddy, <laughs> you're giving trouble. Sugar cake or tulum? Well, I haven't tasted tulum in a long time. Tulum. Tulum, okay. Bygan choker or tomato choker? Tomato choker. Tomato. Yeah. Porn or sweet bread? Hold on. Sorry? Porn or sweet bread? Porn. Porn? Porn. Black cake or sponge cake? Black. Sponge. Sponge. Okay. Macaroni salad or macaroni pie? Macaroni pie. Macaroni pie. Uh -huh. Kalaloo or red beans? Kalaloo. I didn't get that. Kalaloo or red beans? Kalaloo. Kalaloo. Oh, yeah. Smoke Karen or saltfish? Smoke Karen. Smoke Karen. Smoke Karen. <laughs> well, I'm surprised. It's his favorite thing. <laughs> oh, it's your favorite thing? Smoke Loves. Karen. Okay, fantastic. Well, you know, you have a good sports <laughs> day. And it doesn't end there, guys. You know, you are on pop after all. So... Um, you know what, you, I really listened to what you said. If you had a son, you know, why do you need a son when you have Michaela? And there's no doubt that both of you are very close, but I want to see exactly how close you are. So we are going to play a game called, you know, how well do you know me? You ready? How well do I know? Her? How well do you know? Yes, and I'm going to, yeah, the same for her. How well does she know you? Okay, let's go. Are you ready? Who's first? Okay. Uh, you can't pee for the, you <laughs> cannot pee for the answer. <laughs> okay. I am going to ask now, what is your dad's favorite place to be? The study. The study. Or the garden. Or the garden. It's one or the two. He spends equal amount of time. So planting or in his study. Okay, planting or study. Is she correct? Yes. Okay. All right. Fantastic. That's one down. Okay. What is Michaela's favorite food? I think she'll eat anything. I'm not sure. You're not sure? No? Take a guess. Well, the wrong thing that's selling uh, uh, pizza. 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 Is he correct? No. Okay. What is it though? Dal rice and curry chicken. Dal rice and curry <laughs> chicken. Okay. This game is not going that great. Okay. Favorite subject. What's his his favorite, favorite subject. Yes. Politics. That's a that's a no brainer. That was unfair. Let me ask. I mean, actually, Polit if I ask him, if I ask him as well, he's going to be politics. Okay. We're striking that question. Okay. Favorite color. What's his favorite color? Mm. Favorite color? I don't even think he thought about that himself. Uh, probably his favorite color is mm, orange. I have it on red. I, yes. <gasps> is it? It's red. I yes. And what about what is his favorite color? It's similar to yours. Um, a, a kind of greenish. A so. kind of. <laughs> that's not a color. No. What's a kind of greenish? Blue. A kind of greenish blue. A green, greenish blue now. He's saying that because like, the, the, my, my party's oh, color right. is, 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 is a teal color. So, no, it's red. Oh. I didn't know we So, were... both of you had red because we got the answers and it's actually both red. Can I you know. believe it? Yes, but I you didn't know to... that his was red. No, I didn't. I didn't. All right. Oh, Do you know his shoe size? Yeah. You want to tell me? Half. Nine and a half. Or nine. I or... bought some slippers for Christmas and that was seven. <laughs> the slippers fit. Huh? The slippers that she bought you for Christmas, did they fit? They, they, they did. They did. Okay, so you got it right. Do you know her shoe size? I don't even know my own shoe size. <laughs> well, it's nine and a half. No, no, Just no, the no, 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 the reason is I have never bought shoes for the last 20 years. Is this Mrs. Pandy buying shoes again for you? Ba and boots. And boots. We I, need I, to meet I Mrs. Pandy on the show. 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so shoe size, nine and a half. And um, you want to tell him your shoe size? Yeah, five and a half. That's yeah. a baby foot. That is not me. <laughs> she has very, you know, to mean, she's a petite person. Okay, pet peeve. What's his pet peeve? 
God's part. He doesn't really complete. Oh. <laughs> if we don't put things back in the place where we found them. <laughs> okay. It's absolutely correct. <laughs> I am a stickler for order. I like mm -hmm. things to be mm -hmm. in their place so I can There's find them. There's another name for that, uh, yeah. Mr. Pan. It's called, you know, having OCD, do you think? Having? OCD, you know, obsessive compulsive, you know, disorder. I probably do. He probably. Yeah. So if we borrow a pliers or we take something down and he sees it, where did you all find that? Uh -huh. <laughs> put it back in its place and we say, well, since you know where you put it. <laughs> <laughs> you put it back yourself. Okay. What is her pet peeve? What is her? Pet peeve. Me, I think. What is her pet peeve? <laughs> she said it. Or you? Him. You think that you are her pet peeve? <laughs> okay, so we know that's not true. But what do you think annoys me? What do you think annoys her? Nothing. She's always so pleasant. I, oh. I, I don't know what annoys her. <laughs> that's a daddy thing but, to say. Oh. So we, we'll no, give you no, that. No, but I'm going to find out now. Oh, you are. <laughs> what it is that. You, you want to tell me what your pet peeve is? People crunching ice. Really? <laughs> you know, that kind of annoys me too now that I think about it. Oh, thanks and for bones. telling me that. <laughs> thanks for telling and, me that. And I'll also stop crunching. when they leave... <laughs> I'll stop crunching ice. <laughs> and when they leave the cover off the pepper sauce, mm -hmm. or don't put it on properly, that's one of the most dangerous things. Is that, you know, just take you know, it. You're right. And then disaster in the kitchen. Correct. You're right. Okay, that's a good one. Correct. All right. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? This has been fantastic. I think that um, you both got to know a little bit more of each other yeah. through this exercise. And he likes red. And he likes well, red. I found out my shoe size. Yes, and he's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you two are fun. I have to say it's fun. Still Thank more you. to come and pop, guys. You know, Thank we're going you. to go to break when you come back. When we come back, in fact, um, we test Michaela in a whole new way that she's not expecting. Big surprise. Stay tuned. Brand cleaning products, tough on grind, yet gentle on you. In the kitchen, use only support dishwashing liquid. Washing your clothes, use only support liquid laundry detergent. Sanitizing your home, work, or any environment, then support antibacterial multi-purpose cleaner is the brand for you. Ask for support detergent products today because we're a family. It's locally made with a great price and everyone needs a little support. And we're back on Papa. And yes, you are seeing a pan in front of me. Because Michaela, to my left, Michaela, I don't know if you know that there is a joke in the um, pan fraternity where, and the semifinals of their pan, you know, in the fraternity, they send a message out to, every, to each other saying, Do you know what day it is? Yes. And they I put up it. a picture of your dad, <laughs> meaning pan day. So, yes. and that is a huge thing. They do it every year without fail. So, Brilliant. we thought, as you know, you're part of the legacy, we can't be having people picture up with a surname and you don't know how to play exactly. the people band. Exactly. You know, so. So that's why we have with us today our esteemed guest, Obadeli, Alec. Alec. Yes, and Hi, he Alec. is from All Stars and he's joined wow. us today. <laughs> so um, he has agreed to give us a lesson. Yes. He's agreed to give us a lesson. But before that, guys, you know, yes, I know. Just hold on one minute. We're going to come to that. Before that, um, I'm going to share with you Penny Specs. Each week on the show, I did talk about a movie that impressed me or a book, whatever. You know, it has really had an impact on my life. And um, today has been a great impact, this particular thing, because it just gets me moving. And I'm talking about Farmer Nappy's Backyard Jam. Right here in the back. Like, 
like that. No, it, no, it is absolutely great. So, great. and of course, you know that we are all sort of, you know, doing our lines with our families, the people who are closest as That's we right. continue to be mindful of um, COVID-19. So that is Penny Picks this week. Lovely. Okay, are we ready for this lesson? Now, Michaela, what you don't know is that we've made a special request of Obadali because we understand that you, you know, you celebrated a birthday recently. I did, so, I did, I did. Thank so you. So we would actually like Obadali, if you would so graciously, teach us how to play Happy Birthday. And Michaela, yes. this is this, and you know what I mean in in celebrating your recent birthday. Thank you, Obadali. So we're gonna go from G. G. Three. Yeah. It's two Gs. A. Back to G. We got it. And that's the first line right there. Hey, hey, let me get a bong stick. Here. So let's try it one more time again. Yeah, so, ready? After three. One, two, three. <laughs> Music. Tell you the guys we coming. We have two new players we coming. Yes. We are coming. <laughs> okay. So the second. Okay. So the second time. Mm -hmm. Same thing, but it's just a slight little change in the end. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna play it for you all to hear a bit. Yes. Okay. okay. So the second time. So we're going to D. We're going yeah, to the D and then back to C. All right. Got it. Okay. So let's try the second time alone. Yes. Okay. So, second time alone. Second right? time alone, right? Okay. One, two, three. Woo! Call the police. Call them. <laughs> Call everybody. Are ready? Are ready? All right. So we're ready. ready no pressure, three. Michaela. No pressure. No pressure. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three. <laughs> But you know what, guys? Well done. Michaela, this has been a fantastic show. Oh, thank I, I mean, you. I, I still can't believe our luck in just having you on, and not only you, but, you know, your, your father, who is just, um, he has all the accolades um, to his name. And it has really been an outstanding show for us. And thank the fact you. that you have been both been really good sports with us, we really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, much for having us. Yes. Thank you. Thank and, you. And remember, sure please, go to Pop. You can be a part of the show. You can guess. You know, let us know who you think is going to be the next guest. Clues are going to be there waiting for you. Prizes to be won. Thank you to all our sponsors who are just, you know, taking this journey with us. And we will see you the very next time on Pop.